Welcome back to Alliance War. It's season 38, War 10, for Loki is facing Zine. I'll be bringing my team of Miguel and Human Torch. Um, and we'll start off on path 6A, otherwise known as the Prowess Path. First up, we got this Apocalypse here. The strategy in this fight is the typical Miguel strategy in which you are just going to hit into block, build some ruptures, and then just do a bunch of dexing. I'm trying to keep Apocalypse under a bar power so that way he never throws a special. I never need to worry about any of the effects of the nodes or the prowess on this path. Just trying to avoid specials, and Miguel is a special a specialist at that. So I've sped this fight up as much as I possibly could. I wish it could go even faster, quite frankly. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be uh, dexing, dancing until I get Apocalypse down real low. And then uh, I'll let him go ahead and throw a special two. And I'll be able to just, you know, take the first three parts of it on the block. And then um, dex the second part of it. So, yeah, no big deal. And uh, APOC is down. So next up, we have the torch a conduit defender of course miguel doesn't care about that particular aspect of it so again it's just avoiding human torch throwing any specials and us you know making a, a, an easily fatal mistake um aggression prowess is on this node but i'm not going to be touching torch i'm just going to be hitting his block and letting the ruptures do the work so we'll go ahead and speed up this fight as well just so that way we can get through it faster um fortunately for us, the viewers, Torch doesn't have as much health as Apocalypse. You know, Apocalypse is a real big, beefy boy. Yes, yes, he is. But Torch is not, and uh, so th this uh, strategy is a lot faster. I mean, Miguel isn't generally the fastest option in war. He's just one of, if not the most uh, safe options for just a tremendous number of fights, as we've seen this particular season, um, you know, when the... When I have died, it's because of my failure, not because of the matchup. Miguel just has amazing utility. All right, next up, we got this America Chavez under 19, which is the ebb and flow knockdown, as well as debuff immunity once knocked down. So Miguel won't work here, but the torch will. Um, between the pre-fight and the guidance boost, I'll be able to bypass the debuff immunity because I'll be able to keep the incinerates on. Um, through the Nova Flame, and I'll still be able to parry even when she is debuff immune. Yay for Guidance. You know, when uh, America first got released, she was uh, qu quite the mystery, I think, and very difficult. Um, she still is difficult. Um, we do pick up kills with her on defense on this particular node all the time um, because people just fail to, to adopt a... You know, I mean, fights can get out of hand if she gets really quick with heavies. I mean, my general strategy to fight her with anybody is just to push her to special one, dex the SP one, and then punish, and she will go down pretty quickly. So in, in that particular strategy, even her throwing one heavy um, where she lands on her blue cycle is perfectly fine because that helps her throw more special ones, and that's where I'm going to get my openings to, to uh, smack her around. So speaking of... Smacking around, here's my girlfriend Penny. Once again, she's on node 33. And once again, I'll be taking her down with um, Miguel. It's the same fight you've seen a dozen times. It's very, very, very safe. <laughs> very, very easy. Miguel bypasses the node. Miguel um, bypasses Kenny's kit, uh, Penny's kit. And so it's simply about not making any fatal mistakes. And at least in terms of the fights this war... I haven't really made any fatal mistakes yet. Spoiler alert, um, I have one really, really, really messy fight coming up. Um, I do not die, but Lord knows I probably deserve to. So um, this penny explodes, and bye-bye, penny. Next up on the node 43, which is kinetic transference aspect of evolution, we've got a maul. Oh, God, I hate fighting mauls. Um, um, you know, I, the reparries are tough when he does... You know, the medium medium or the medium into the heavy. The spacing on the special one counter is always a problem. But this is probably one of the best mall fights I've ever um, I've ever done. You know, I got a, a great there counter heavy to the SP1 to uh, knock him down with the heavy. Uh, delaying the falter mechanics. When he does get the falter, I back off and don't try to throw 
and he hits into it. And then I'm able to just finish him off real cleanly with a special one. It's probably my best ball fight ever, actually, <laughs> outside of when I like rinse him with a mega red or something like that. So my final fight this war was the one I was least worried about and therefore the one most likely for me to fuck up. It's this Mordo on 48. Um, I've done this fight a bunch this season and I was just not scared. I got my guidance boost. But, you know, even from the jump street, I, I you know, it's not the initial parry heavy that I wanted for the exhaustion. Then Mordo gets defensive. And, you know, I, you know, I don't, this is not a good fight. This is, uh, this is one of my worst fights of the season. Um, it certainly is outside of the Leroy Jenkins fight, my worst solo of the season. I, uh, I did not share this video in four Loki chat, um, because I wanted to save it for, uh, the video, but this is really, um, a pathetic play. I mean, What's my saving grace here is that Mordo really has no offensive firepower um, here and really can't do any damage. This is all self inflicted wounds by me. Um, you know, there's the first, that's, I think that's the only time I play around the falter. You know, it's just, it's just a messy fight. Um, I was not in a great headspace for this fight. Um, for Loki had died a bunch um, right before I did this fight. And it was, I was distressed. We ended up losing this war. So congrats to the guys from Zine. Uh, Y'all earned it. Y'all played great. We played horrifically. Um, and it's just, it's been a frustrating season for us in that regard, wherein it's not like one guy. It's just everybody taking their turn, um, you know, with bad focus, bad decisions, bad luck, whatever you want to call it. It's just been a frustrating season because, you know, we have proven that, our potential over the last couple of seasons with this global, you know, we know what we're doing and we, every war, it's just something else that's bedeviling us. It's, you know, I, I guess phase gave us something from the last meetup and we've just sort of been passing around one another. And that's the only explanation that I got. I mean, you know, he has patient zero for a lot of stuff, but anyway, we end up losing this war. We got to win our last two wars to make masters, which I'm not sure that we necessarily deserve, but hopefully we get there. And I'll see you in the next life check.